Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel Crafty Concepts with Erin. I'm Erin and I'm super excited to bring you this video. I have the January, February 2022 close to my heart catalog walkthrough. Plus I'm going to share some bonus artwork that I've already created and I'm super excited about it. So let's go ahead and dive in. When you open the page, we of course have the table of contents, a nice note from our founder, Jeanette Linton, and then there's information on becoming a maker like me or Close to My Heart's VIP customer program. Now, if you're not familiar with this, I'll tell you really quick. Basically, when you become a VIP, you earn 15% credit to use on future orders. So it's like a 15% discount right off the bat. That is awesome. And then the stamp of the month every month, which we'll look at towards the end of the video, is absolutely free for VIPs with your qualifying purchase. And then you also get access to exclusive offers and special throughout the year. Then we have our Craft with Heart subscriptions. There is a scrapbooking subscription and a card making subscription. So this is showing you January through April. Now for the cards, you get everything you need. All you have to add is adhesive, your favorite adhesive. So you get to make two of each design and it's all the die cut pieces and everything are there for you. You even get an exclusive stamp set to stamp all the sentiments and a little ink cube and an acrylic block. So literally everything but the adhesive. And for the scrapbooking, these are what they call cut above layouts. So they have them partially, the backgrounds will be pre-printed and then they have the die cut pieces that you just add to them. I love to take these kits and kind of step them up. So they're great as is, but it's so fun to put your own creative spin on it. And there's some really cute layouts. So you get two and they're double page layouts and you get two for each month. So there's January, February layouts. I love the little banner element across the top of that page. They're super cute. And then we have March. Very fun. I love the title element. Collect beautiful moments. That could be really you know used for anything they're super versatile every day is a story we're looking at the april ones very very cute lots of photos on those too that's nice so then we get into the paper packs and this is called sweet as honey i don't know what it is guys i'm super excited about this i'm so excited i bought the card workshop the scrapbooking workshop the paper pack and the picture of my life cards. And don't forget the stamps. I'm telling you guys, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it, but I just super excited. I'll show you the goodies in the catalog and then I've also made some cards that I'm going to share with you. But look at that layout. I really, really like it. It kind of looks, I print my photos at home and it looks like maybe you, you know, I know I can put like an antique finish on them and it goes really nicely with this paper pack. It kind of looks like that's how they've adjusted the color in those photos, which looks really cool. But that's a nice layout. I definitely will probably create a spin off of that. And then this card is super pretty. It looks like they've done some um, embossing on those flowers with gold embossing powder. And uh, the stickers look like they're from the sticker sheet. And how about these cork shapes? So cute. So we'll go ahead and get into the paper pack. They are showing you the sticker sheet, the paper pack, you get two of each, they're double-sided. Now you can get just the paper pack or you can get it with the sticker sheet. They have coordinating cardstock, the cork shapes, there's a digital art collection and this does not have to be, you know, a Cricut collection because they, Close to My Heart does collaborate with Cricut, but this is they're SVGs, so you can use this on any die cutting machine. And then of course the pocket cards, which I love to incorporate into my traditional scrapbooking. And not all the designs are shown, so you're just getting a sampling of what is in the pack there. Do you guys want an up close look at this? You do, don't you? Let me grab it. Silly question, right? So here is the paper pack. And like I said, they're all double-sided. So I've gone ahead and flipped them over. But this text paper, I wish I could buy an entire pack of just this. I love 
using the text and for background and it just is a really neat look and the text is small enough that this is going to work for scrapbook pages and cards so the scale works for both which is awesome so we have black and white text with some images and then on the other side we have more of that text but they've incorporated some of the honeycomb pattern in the background and the little bees on here in the bee keep but yeah i i don't know hopefully you guys like bees am i the only one excited about this paperback i just super excited so then we have this uh, geometric design and the zip strips up top are really fun to just trim off to make this 12 by 12 and then use those as accents on your projects so the opposite side of this one we have little bees with a nice background. The featured colors in this one are black, mink, shortbread, sundance, and white daisy. So there's the other page of this one there that we already looked at. And then this gorgeous paper, we have like a darker shade of sundance on the lighter kind of distressed background. So pretty. The stripe is the opposite side of that one. So it's always good to have a stripe in the paper pack. That's just kind of a classic go-to. There's the other one of those little fly papers. So, or not fly, <laughs> bees. We don't like flies. Bees are okay, but we don't want flies. That would be weird. Unless you have boys and you're like doing an insect layout or that works for girls too. So that is the paper pack. Here is the coordinating sticker sheet. So we have lots of titles, oh honey, world famous family love goes on forever uh, word stickers here which i love to incorporate this is like one long 12 inch border sticker and then look at all these little banners up here and then we have the hexagons and then some different circular elements great stuff for embellishing your projects and then just some little kind of vintage looking the key these little swirly flourishes and then there's a large uh, B with lacy wings there. Now, if you get the workshop option, it comes with all the, it has the cork. It does not come with the pocket cards, so you'd have to get those separately, but the little cork shapes, and then you get printed instructions if you want to follow along and create the layouts that they have designed. There's three double page layouts that you can create, which we'll look at here in a minute. But I like getting the workshops because they have exclusive bonus papers. And then I'll pull this out so you can see it. But these are the die cuts and they pop right out super easily. But look at all of these pretty extra pieces that you get to work with that you wouldn't have in the, you know, just the paper pack. How pretty are those black and white florals? And then there's tags and banners, hearts, all sorts of shapes and border pieces. There's several uh, sheets of these bonus die cuts. Okay, I digress. Can you guys tell I'm excited? Okay, so when you turn the page, we get into the coordinating stamp sets. This is perfect for cards. They call they always have a sweet as honey card making and scrapbooking. Typically they're interchangeable. You could use this on a scrapbook page and just, you know, create that across the bottom. That would look really cool, like a border of these flowers. They've embossed it here or here they've done coloring, probably with the Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers. And there's different sentiments on here, wishing you sunshine and happiness, thinking of you, and then thank you. So sentiments kind of for like an everyday, uh, just send someone some happy mail. Or of course, you can always grab one of your sentiment stamps from your stash and, you know, make it a birthday card if you'd like. This is the sweetest honey scrapbooking so we have some kind of title building options here you can see how they've used it on the layout sweet as can be i think that's cute and then beautiful and you can i wonder if that one that one probably fits in there maybe i'd have to play with it but different words honey sweet as beautiful can be and grateful and it says 100 percent sweet as can be is how they've done it so very cute you can see they've done some stenciling they have the little cork shapes and some stamping on the background there some paper tearing lots of layers going on that is a fun layout 
on the next page we have the workshop option that I was showing you so you get all and you can get this with page protectors or without just kind of depending but let's take a look at these layouts and always if you don't like a pattern paper you can flip it over so here they've used the little uh, bees in the background there so you could flip that over and use the opposite side. But this layout here on the bottom is one of my favorites. I love that look. And I think that they have done a gorgeous job of creating that one. And I love the embellishment clusters on the sides. Just really, really, really pretty layout. And then here is the third layout here. And that is also very, very cute. You can see that they've used the bonus paper here. This one is not in the regular paper pack. On the next page we have the Sweetest Honey card making workshop. So they have done four different designs for you and they've you know have a lot of techniques in here. There's paper tearing, stenciling, we've got die cuts and stamping and you get to create four of each card design so you end up with 16 cards. You get the card bases and envelopes, a stamp set and coordinating dies and there are some enamel gems or dots in here and then all the cardstock and pattern paper to create these. Now I can't help myself and I always like to make my own designs because that is part of the fun and let me show you those real quick. So I have three different cards here. Now this one was kind of a spin off of this card here. So what I did is I made a tag, a longer tag, and we kept the hexagons and this is you know, pretty much the same, but I've matted that on rosemary cardstock to bring in more of that green. They have just a little, you know, pop of the rosemary here. And otherwise I kept this one fairly similar. But the other two, I completely did something different. This one, I brought in my hexagon thin cut. And this bee, this is a country bee. He is from my stash, but I wanted a larger bee. This is the bee that comes with this workshop, and he's super cute. You could do two of them if you wanted to kind of fill that space. But I have taken the stamp set, all of the images here, and created my own little collage of the stamping on the hexagon. And that's how I did this card. And I really love how it turned out. This is the shortbread color that I have stamped that on. And you know, you could say that this is a sentiment or it's just really kind of a neutral card that you can just send to anyone. Or you could stamp, you know, a custom sentiment on the inside as well. This card here, I have used the, let me show you, let me grab the core catalog really quick. In the core catalog towards the back, they have die cuts and these are the stitched fancy brackets. So there's two uh, sizes, a small, small and a large. And I love using those on scrapbook layouts and cards obviously they're perfect for sentiments so that is the smallest fancy stitched bracket and i've layered i had this in my stash so whenever i'm making cards i always just try to pull items that i have in my stash that were left over but it's a little layer of vellum that i cut out with them uh, the fancy border dies and then we popped up the little bee and I've colored stamped this in intense black and then colored it in with my spectrum noir markers and happy birthday queen bee and a little crown underneath there and I thought that was super cute I still need to put some gems on there I haven't done that yet so I almost didn't show you guys these because someone's gonna be like well where's that paper from I have a scrap stash bin of old papers that I'm trying to use up and I was diving into that before I cut into my workshop because sometimes I just you know get nervous about cutting into it before I have a plan so I was playing with my scrap paper so these two pattern papers are not from this collection but obviously the stamps and die cuts are so I thought I'd share it with you again we have a hexagon I've rotated done some stamped images popped up the cute little bee there and then this I'm super excited about this is that honeycomb die cut and I just think it's so cool so I have um, you know just glued those over the top and bottom for added interest done some distressing funny story I actually had this propped up on my desk and my ink pad was open it fell on my ink pad and marked it up there so then I had to make it look intentional and just took a little mini ink block and made it intentionally messy so right 
oh, no mistakes, only happy accidents. This is the second card I made using my uh, stash. Stamp this right on the pattern paper. We have another little die cut bracket. Kind words are like honey sweet to the soul. And then again, one of those honeycomb dies and then popped up the little bee. But yeah, super basic card design. This is one of my go-to card designs. It really showcases all the pattern papers and it's really fun. So lots of fun cards. You can see this is a brighter yellow than the Sundance. The Sundance is more golden, which works really well with the whole honey collection bee theme. So lots of fun ideas. I have one more thing to show you. I'm showing you these because I don't have process videos for them. I was just playing. I have a prayer journal and I have one you know, page for each of my family members. So I used, again, these are different pattern papers that I was using up in my stash, but I have used the honeycomb here. This is the, you know, perfectly imperfect patterns and honeycomb. I've created this circle just like I did this card here where I've just used the stamped images and stamped them, cut them out with a circle. And then this is that same B, the country B. I don't think he's available, but you could use a smaller one. And then just created this little cluster over a pocket where I tuck prayers in that I like to say over my um, family members. And this is my son, Clayton. Doesn't he look so handsome? But anyway, this collection is perfect for masculine layouts or feminine, really. It can be super versatile. Okay. Sorry, that was a lot of talking, huh? So now we're going to get into the next collection. This is Sawyer, and it's, you know, a whole new color palette. We have Peach, Mulberry, Grape, Wisteria, Mint, Harbor, Lemonade, Sundance, and White Daisy. So they have a lot of fun colors, and this, I really like the grape in here. It really pops and stands out, and the Harbor. This is that Harbor paper. I don't have this one so I yet, so I cannot show it to you in person. But here are the different pattern papers and the coordinating sticker sheet. This is like a really friends oriented, you know, like they have BFF, so uh, best friend forever moments. And then this one up here is a sticker that says best friends. So definitely you could do some cute stuff documenting your friends or your children's friends and the digital collection die cuts, coordinating cardstock, and then the picture my life cards. Here are the coordinating stamp sets. So again, more of the, this is the card making one, best friends. And so they've stamped best friends. This also has a die cut if you want to cut that out. So you could use this on a scrapbook page easily. Bestie, no one gets us like us. That's cute. Um, and then here they've stamped best friends and then under it, are the people in life that make you laugh a little louder, smile a little brighter, and live a little better. I know I have some friends that that fits that definition for sure. This is the Sawyer scrapbooking stamp. And so we have a title, sweet friend, and then some fun, like, I don't know how you would describe these uh, flowers, but they've like these just kind of rustic brush strokes. And I saw someone use these as coffee beans on a card and made a coffee card and it was so clever and so cute. Here is, I'm gonna show you this scrapbook page because they've really used those flowers and I think they've done a good job and it's super cute. I love all the layering. I frequently do single page or single photo layouts so I think that is super cute. Lots of tucking and layering going on. I like the little um, sticker at the top there, little swoopy element, very fun. So then we're going to have the Sawyer scrapbooking workshop. Again, three different double page layouts that are pre-designed if you want to follow along. This diagonal layout is kind of a classic go-to design. I've done a few like that and I love how they have just, you know, used all the stickers and stamped image. Well, these would probably just be stickers uh, to create this border separating the white background from this harbor uh, pattern paper and then the titles from the sticker sheet but this is really cute and you don't have to do if you only have enough photos for a single page you can do something different and instead of making a double page you make two separate single page layouts this is really cute too because of you I laugh a little harder and smile more and they've done she's done a layout of her kids probably so that's really cute 
All righty, and then we get into the card making workshop. So the cards come again, four different designs, 16 cards total, and you get an exclusive stamp set and the coordinating dies. There, I think this is really cool. This is a die and then this little leaf die for the little bird to sit on and some nice sentiments. And these butterflies almost look more like a moth to me, very pretty moth. And you get the little heart wood shapes to go along and embellish your cards also. On the next page, we get into the mix-in paper packs. The mix-ins are designed to complement the other collections, or they can be used as a standalone paper pack. This is definitely going to work well for me with all of my Sweet as Honey. Here they've done a layout just using these, so they've added some, you know, colored cardstock and stamped on it, but look at these flowers. These are the layered florals and they have cut the pattern papers and layered them up and I think that is so cute. I love this layout too. So many good ideas to scrap lift in this catalog. They've also incorporated some of the sweetest honey cards or paper in there as well. Now we're going to get into the stamp sets. Here are some fun tags they've created. These would be fun to put on a card or you can put them on a scrapbook layout and use them as an embellishment, but it kind of gives you an overview of what's to come. This is the Utterly Wonderful Stamp and Thin Cut set. You can get these with or without the thin cuts. So everything shaded has a coordinating thin cut, but if you don't have a die cutting machine or you don't mind fussy cutting, you can skip the coordinating thin cuts and just get the stamp. But I think these are super cute. They've created some cards. You are utterly wonderful. And we heard it's your birthday. Holy cow, we heard it's your birthday. I have cattle and well i shouldn't say i have cattle we raise some uh, steers every year so we have a lot of pictures and and live on a farm so this is a very country farm inspired stamp to me and i love this little milk jug and and the pail here i just think it's super cute so i definitely have this one and then on the next page we have some more stamps this is thank you kindly and it's a boot with some flowers. You can see they have, you know, tucked the flowers into the boot and there's either a thank you sentiment or happy birthday. These are the feathered friends and I just love birds. I'm super into gardening and birds and so I always am drawn to these stamps. We have a little branch for them to sit on and then a little box where you can stamp some of the different uh, sentiments there. You can say thanks friend or hello friend. Um, you can mix and match them. So they, what they've done, this is the barn door stamp and thin cuts. So the stamp creates that wood texture. This is a definite must have for me because you can do so much with this. You can stamp this wood background over a lot of different things. Imagine having some die cut letters and you want to give them a rustic feel. You can stamp the wood grain right on top of those letters and get a wood custom wood grain finish. And then they have both a tall plank and a shorter plank that are a stamp and die cut so you can create like what they've done here to make it look like a barn door. Here they've taken just one plank and made it look like a fence. I thought that was super clever and they've used it over here as well. One across the top bottom and then diagonal for another barn door look. So they've used all these products together and I think it looks really cute. On the next page, we have some more kind of spring type stamps, butterfly and dragonfly. I don't know if you can ever have enough butterflies in your stash. I just think they're so pretty. And so it's just a single little butterfly and dragon, but they do have a sentiment. This one's with sympathy. You make my heart flutter for the butterfly. And with the thin cut, these are only $12.95. The stamp by itself is $7.95. So really reasonable. Those would make a nice gift for someone too, but I love those. This one's fun. We have the Fairy Garden Stamp and Thin Cuts, and so the Mushrooms, Pixie Wishes, and Fairy Dust Kisses. How cute is that? Fairy Garden, please step carefully. So they've used these on a scrapbook page, and I just think it's actually kind of, this is like one of those divided pocket pages and then next to a six by eight regular so they've done some gardening photos which is super cute i'm like i want that i want that die cut where's that on the next page we have 
more stamps. These are some, they call it build a flower and you can layer them. So you can see, let me hold this up. Can you see all of the fun things that they've done there? And so you create, you can stamp the background and then stamp the different layers over the top in different colors. So those are pretty fun. And I like how you can create custom looks by choosing your color. And in their sample artwork here, they've showed you all the colors that they've used, which is nice because sometimes putting colors together can be a challenge. So I love that they give these suggestions. And here they have like kind of a title builder. It's called Here and Now. And these are stamps, no thin cuts for these. They've stamped them directly on the background. Fun, 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 Here and Now, The Greatest Day. So lots of titles that can be used for really so many things. They've used the flower from the Sawyer collection to stamp on the background. I don't know if you can see that, but that is a you know, really quick and easy way to create your own pattern paper, just random stamping in a light color for a background element. On the next page, we have more stamps. This one is Under the Weather Stamp and Thin Cuts. I did get this one. I just think it's really clever. It has so many good icons on there for get well cards. And look, at I love how they did this one. I'm definitely going to repeat that card. They've done some ink blending on the background so that their die cut elements just really pop. And they've done some stitching around the edge of this rectangle. Super cute. Little hearts on there and some gems. But different sentiments. Sorry to hear you are feeling under the weather. Sorry you're feeling crummy. Um, wish I could magically make you better. Lots of different sentiment. Get well hugs. Wishing you a smooth recovery. And if you're a scrapbooker, sometimes we document even the bad things, right? So you might have some pictures of someone sick recovering and these little different icons would go well for that type of scrapbook page. This is Take It Easy Stamp and Thin Cuts. We have this adorable little sloth character. I think he's so cute. Look at him snuggling the pillow there. He's like, oh, I'm so happy. So hanging on a tree, different poses. And then of course we have just kind of, you know, fun sentiments that are like funny and kind of a pun on words. Thank you so much. I didn't forget, I'm just slow. Boy, that's gonna be a good one for me because sometimes I'm just running behind. Take it easy, hashtag mood, hang in there don't hurry be happy just really fun sentiments have you guys seen some must-haves yet a lot of fun things in this catalog this one is called you're a classic and i automatically think of father's day cards um, or just cards for masculine you know uh, the men in your life or women too sometimes women are super into cars I'm not. I appreciate them and think they're really neat, but I'm not a car girl. I'm a horse girl, if we have to pick, right? So we have a truck, two different style of cars, and different sentiment. Thank you. Happy birthday. You're a classic. Happy birthday, my old friend. And then you're not old, and you could stamp happy birthday on the inside. So some different things. More artwork ideas. They've taken that happy birthday stamp and created a background paper. Do you see that there? A little tone on tone. That looks like the harbor color. Sorry, it's pretty hard to see. There, you can see it there. I like the way that looks. It creates so much background interest. And they've colored these in with the Spectrum Noir markers and I just think that looks really pretty. This one's cool too. I like how they've layered all the different pa uh, paper. And then again, you're a classic. They've stamped it on the background there. This one here, perfect for cards, spectacular you. And so they've just done a ton of different stamped images to create these card fronts. And these are kind of funny. The first time you put on your new readers and realize you're officially that age. So again, kind of just fun, um, you know, birthday card type of uh, stamp here. My love for you is bigger than your collection of reading glasses. <laughs> it's too funny. I need glasses myself, but I refuse to get that. It's not bad enough to where I have to have them, so I'm going to hold out. Anyway, we have this meowgical stamp. Meow, that's hard to say. Meowgical, like magical. Meowgical stamp and thin cuts. All these cute kitties. Little like, can you imagine coloring them in like a unicorn with little rainbow tails and whatnot? That's what they've done here. So cute. So they've done a scrapbook layout 
and used all these little kitties as embellishments. These are fun. They're really fun. I don't know if you guys ever watched the Lego movie. I have kids, so we watch all the animated movies, and they have the Unit Kitty, which is like a little Lego kitty cat, and that is what this reminds me of. If you guys have seen the Lego movie, you know what I'm talking about. This one's really fun, Dino Roar Stamp and Thin Cuts, and I like how they make them look textured, so they stamp that way. They're going to stamp with this detail in them. Really cute scrapbook page here of a little boy playing with his dinosaurs. We have quite the dinosaur collection. I've got boys, and um, for every birthday and Christmas for a while, dinosaurs was on the list, so quite the dinosaur collection. These were more must-haves for me. Absolutely love them. Sucka for you. So they're succulents and these do not come with coordinating thin cuts, but you could definitely fussy cut them out. But they've created this super cute card. This is one of the slimline dies from the core catalog. It has the circles and then there's one uh, square also. So that's how they've done this card. And I just love these. I, like I said earlier, I'm totally into gardening. I have a lot of succulents and I just love this. And this one, Sprigs and Sentiment Stampin' Thin Cut. So here they've, all these have coordinating dies. And here they've stamped them, cut them out with the dies and created a bouquet of greenery. And here they've just stamped directly onto the layout or the card but I am going to these to me are just kind of a staple in the craft room I love them and so you can tuck these behind little the floral elements like the buildable flowers or use them on cards scrapbook layouts stamp them directly onto your scrapbook layout and then layer die cuts over the top of them really pretty definitely a must have for me so here we have some die cuts. These are for building, they're the die cuts for, wow, what am I trying to say? Gift cards, that's what I'm trying to say. So this creates like the belly band and then this folds over the gift card. And then we have all of these different uh, shapes where you can customize the sentiment. Treat yourself, best wishes, thank you, special delivery, happy hello. So pretty much any occasion and you know, we, Gift cards are easy. We all do gift cards, right? And uh, so we have a scallop edge here and then this one has a little bit more fancy design. So I thought those were clever and fun, very useful. Now this is a special coming up and I'm super excited to share this with you. So this is called True Story and it is a super fun interactive mini album. Now when you buy the album kit it comes with these jump rings so you can put it together or they have very smartly designed it to fit in a 6x8 album. So if you prefer that you can get a 6x8 album and put them in the page protectors but you can see there are tons of fun shapes in here. There's acrylic dividers. I know it's hard to see um, in this picture. I'm going to be doing a walkthrough here on my channel of my uh, mini album to show you how I've used it and all the interactive elements. So stay tuned for that. You're going to want to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. But you could use this for a birthday event or you can document a vacation or flip through your cell phone. Just kind of find photos that you've taken and do a month in the life of kind of documenting type album. But it's really fun, vibrant, happy, cheerful colors. And I, I'm excited about this. I think you're going to love it. And here we have a brand new Cricut collection. So this is exciting for all of you Cricut users. I'm not really one for New Year's resolutions per se, but I am determined to use my Cricut more because every time I do, I absolutely love it. Um, I just, I don't know if it's laziness. I don't know. I think it'll get easier if I use it more. But every time I do one of these like pre-designed layouts, I'm super happy with it. So this is, they have... Um, Let's see, what is it called? Love Each Day Collection. And there are eight and a half by 11 size pages. There are regular cards and slimline cards. And then of course the 12 by 12 layouts. And you can take any of these elements and like look at all these hexagons. You can just totally customize that and use it for something different. Just use the bits and pieces. We have hearts, we got Valentine's Day coming up, so that'll be fun for that. Um, stars, I love using stars on my boy layouts. And these are really cute. Look at all these frames. So again, if you're familiar with a Cricut, you can just borrow 
images. So really it's so much more than what you see here, but love, love, love this. Love each day Cricut collection. And then we get into our stamp of the month images here. I love these sweet little images. It's called Sweet Little Things. And this is a stamp of the month for January. It's only available January 1st through the 31st. And it is, if you're a VIP, it's free with your qualifying order. Or if you're not a VIP, you can get it for $5 with your qualifying purchase of 50 or more. So they've created some fun little cards here, but I think they're so sweet. I just love these. Do you guys remember the book? I had it for my kids when they were little. Um, guess how much I love you. I think that's what it was called. I'm totally drawing a blank, but they had little bunnies on here. Um, oh, I love you to the moon and back. That's what it was. And that's what these remind me of, but very nice little sentiments. You mean the world to me. You make me smile. Oh, happy day. You are my greatest joy. But look at this little bear and a mouse. These bunnies would be cute on Easter layouts as well. Very sweet. And for February, we have this stamp of the month. It's called Here's the Story. And you know what I'm going to use this for a lot? I mean, you could use it for scrapbooking. It's perfect for that. But my um, kind of my traveler's notebook style journals, daily journals, this is going to be really awesome for that and bullet journaling. So we have these fun frames, a favorite memory, tradition, here's the story, cherished moments in time. Um, there's numbers here. I love you most. I mean, just really versatile collection, but I like these little frames and they have used them several of them on this layout. They've created a title, we have an embellishment, and then they've created like word sentiments out of a lot of these different uh, expressions. So I know I get asked a lot. If you guys are still here with me at the end of this video, thank you for hanging in. And to get one of these catalogs close to my heart, very generously, we'll give you one for free. Yes, that's right. Absolutely free. When you place an order, You when you're checking out, you'll just click the box. When the, In the checkout process, they will offer you or ask you if you want to add this on. So go ahead and take advantage of that because it is packed full of ideas just waiting to be scrap lifted. I'd love to hear what your favorite products are, what you're super excited about. I'm guessing that you know what mine are after this video, but yeah, I look forward to reading your comments and thanks for tuning in. Hey there guys. Those are happy hands. <laughs> ah, that's corny. Do over. Mouse and a little boo, uh, boo. Bear, not bear. Wow. 